It's obviously significant that this garden has been made in front of the Natural History Museum. The museum's mission is to try and get people excited about nature and engaged with um, the outdoor world. The project has really been about trying to re-energise this whole surrounding of landscape around the museum and tell the story of time and the story of change over the last 2.7 billion years. Making buildings in such a public context, we wanted to use the buildings as learning tools in themselves. So both using a palette of natural materials, but also explaining the story of water recycling and water reuse. So the learning centre just behind me has long over sailing eaves. The water is shed off those eaves and collected by these rills, which then um, move along and distribute the water into the landscape. And we have some signage to interpret that for, for young people so they can see what's going on, they can see why we're harvesting the water and retaining it because it's such a precious resource. With such a broad and ambitious project as the Urban Nature Project, actually having the opportunity to try and distill all of the themes down when we were preparing our submission for the Holston Foundation Awards was a really good opportunity to sort of sharpen and strengthen our narrative and also sharpen our focus and winning that award was an incredible milestone for the project because it was um, just about starting on site, I believe, and um, it really buoyed up the whole project team to be kind of winning an award of that profile as we were just getting started on site, just beginning to build the project. And, you know, usually awards are further down the line when the project is completed, but to recognise the ideas behind projects and the kind of impact that those projects might have is a really important thing, and it certainly kind of gave us a lot of uh, enthusiasm uh, to win it.